never thought it'd see. Hey, welcome to King Tutorial's first um, Sony Vegas video. Uh, what you just saw is what we're going to be making. Um, you can customize this any way you want. You can add more colors. You can make it go longer. You can change the word text, of course, and whatever you want. Um, and I am not talking about my subscribe intro. I'm talking about the thing that said text with the lights behind it. Um, so basically what you need to do is you need to make two video tracks. So you right click, insert video track, right click, insert video track. So you have these two video tracks, yours might look a little bit different than mine because I have this weird these weird dimensions. But um anyway. Um next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to drag in yeah, it doesn't really matter. You can you can just uh right click in the top one and click insert text media. And you can make it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do text again. Whoops. Okay, then you're gonna want to go to properties and change the text color all the way down um, on the alpha so that it's invisible and change the background color um, all the way black. Now you'll get this and you can't see the text because it's invisible. Then what you're going to want to do is go to solid color and drag black in to the bottom video layer. And you see if I change the colors here my text will be visible because you can see through it amazing but we want a solid black or if you're doing a different color you want the exact same color you used for your background of your text so now what you're going to want to do is you go to um, video effects lens flare and then you're going to choose any one of these you want um, it doesn't really matter, but I just like to use, or I mean, I don't really like, I don't really have a preference, but I'm just going to use the 35 millimeter lens. And you're going to want to drag this on your bottom solid black color. Then you're going to get this little dialog box window thing, and you're going to want to change the color unless you want a boring normal lens flare, which doesn't look very good because it's a lens flare, not like a spotlight or whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use pink, just like this, because pink's a cool color. And then you want to change the tint all the way up. So then you you can see kind of how you can see through the text, and it's the lens flare is completely pink. Then if you want to make it a little bit brighter, I would suggest it. You can change the intensity of it up just a little bit. You don't you don't want to go insane, or else it's going to look kind of weird, like this which is just way way too bright so it just doesn't look as good because you want these little details in there so I'm going to change mine to about .883 if you can't read that because of YouTube's crappy quality so now what you're going to want to do is I like to put a keyframe at every like second so go to the first second and add a keyframe and uh, second 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 that's really weird and the third one and the fourth one and the fifth one or if you're doing more just keep going now from these first sorry about that pause there um anyway my mom came downstairs uh well i don't really know where i was but um you after you add all the keyframes you just want to go to each keyframe and change the position it's not really, it doesn't really matter where you put it. You just don't want to have it like way off in the corner or something where you're never going to be able to see the light or whatever. So you can just kind of drag it around wherever you want. I just kind of like to just go random places. I think it looks good. Okay, so now you're done with that. Now we can see how it looks so far. And remember, you can change, you can put this wherever you want, you can change the colors or whatever. And as you can see, we already have a pretty basic, ef or a pretty good basic effect. Um, speaking of basic, this is probably one of the most basic videos I'll make because I like to stick more to advanced stuff, even though I'm not that advanced. But I like to, um, I, I watch tutorials all the time, and that's why I like making them. So that's 
yeah, why I'm doing this, but this is probably more basic than my other tutorials will be. So then what you're going to want to do, if you want another color, you don't have to add another color, you want to add another 35 millimeter lens flare to the black again. See, then you'll have two lens flares and two tracks down here. And you want to make this a different color, probably. So I'm going to make this one, just to make something different, I'm going to make this one green, which is probably going to look really bad, but I don't really care. Um... Then you're going to want to go to the exact same position or uh, a different position if you want to, I guess, if you want to make it different. But it's not really going to matter because these keyframes, everything in between them is constantly moving. So it doesn't really matter where you put the keyframes, except that they won't be moving in the same direction after every keyframe. So that's you have this. Another thing I like to do, even though you don't have to, is I like to try to make the exact opposite. Not Well, not exact opposite, but the opposite of these positions. Like if this one is right here, I don't go by the numbers. I'll make this my my green one, like right over here. And then this one is over there, so I'll make my green one right up here. And same goes for the rest of these. But I don't go like exact opposite, like if you're talking like coordinate plane wise. Um, but still, just an easy way to do things if you don't want to be random. All right, so it looks good. That's what we need. And here is what we come out with. Even though I am an idiot and didn't even follow my own tutorial. So, um, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I forgot to change my tint on all of these, so sorry. And my intensity, so I'll make those changes. And if you want to, I guess you could randomize intensity and blend if you wanted to, just for another effect. So like at one part, if the lights were coming in on the text, you could make the intensity really bright if you wanted to. And then you could also add like a glow effect if you wanted to, you know, change it up a little bit. Um, as I said before, this is all like completely customizable. You can do it however you want, um, as long as you want, any colors you want. Um... So yeah, I think I got all of them here. As you see, my intensity changes a little bit just because I don't exactly know where I'm dragging it. Sorry if I'm mumbling a little bit, but my mic's being weird today. All right, well, here's the effect. Which is looking pretty good. I actually kind of like the green and the pink. It's a little bit weird, but still good. Um, and if we wanted to, we could hold Control. We could drag this out. I guess the text doesn't really matter. You don't have to hold control, but I just did anyway. What this does is it does slow motion. So now we have this, maybe. Yeah, you can see the lights move way slower, which looks kind of cool. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching my video, and stay tuned uh, for tomorrow when I have another tutorial. Thanks.